Welcome back to Punoy Crossover, everybody. We just talked about All-Star, but let's talk about the regular season. We have sophomores trying to, you know, earn their names, getting their names out there. So let's get the list of what sophomores we think will try to show up this season. Well, it was a very deep, uh, it was a very deep so uh, rookie class last year, and it was great to see. I mean, Ben Simmons, I mentioned already, uh, Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum. These are just, you know, for sure, for sure going to be an All-Star going to be superstar in their team. So let's talk about the other rookies that we rarely mentioned. Who's going to have a monster, uh, you know, who could have a really good season. So I kind of want to see where you guys are, uh, what your views are and perspective. And to these, some of these uh, rookies from last year who's coming into their second year, and who do you think would have a very impactful season or would have the best season out of all of them? I mean, I can give you guys uh, a few. Dennis Smith Jr., John Collins from Atlanta, Darren Fox from Sacramento, Lonzo from the Lakers, uh, Josh Jackson from Phoenix, Josh Hart, uh, and Kyle Kuzma from the Lakers. Like, these are just some of the names. Like, who do you guys think would have kind of a, a breakout season? Because some of them had an okay season last year, and some of them had an unexpected, like Kuzma, right? So who do you guys think are going to have that breakout play this coming, you know? Mm. So um, you, friends. Okay, so... Well, you're going to you know all the Lakers? Lakers you're going to yeah. all be a ball with yeah. <laughs> So I would choose all three. Yeah. They all have to step up right now. If they want to go, you know, win a championship, just like Kobe said, there's no, you know, waiting. There's no, I mean, Kobe and Shaq, they had to, like, pretty much step it up when they want to win championships. They didn't mm -hmm. have to wait to develop. Like, they had to win, like, like right now. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, those three, Ball, Hart, and Kuzma, they really have to like show what type of uh, players they are, and they really have to show LeBron like, you know, he made the <laughs> right choice to go to LeBron. LA, yeah. Right, and if they really want to go deep in the playoffs, uh, the way they played last year, they gotta, they gotta, you know, um, continue their, their playmaking and um, sh scoring and all that. But like Ball, like he has to step up his his uh, shooting. Josh Hart, he's a defensive guy and uh, he's a three and D guy. Kuzma, um, I mean, he's an all-around player. He's a scorer. So, if you were to put your your if you put money on someone though, who do you think will have the best season out of your your Lakers Lakers boys there? Mm, Kuzma. Kuzma. Yeah. You think he's gonna average twenty this season? Like he's averaged sixteen last year without LeBron. Um, Could easily average twenty. Kuzma, probably kind of around the same, like 16, 18, mm -hmm. and then gradually uh, down the line, uh, he'll end up. Averaging more points. Well, more, what do you expect to see from like a guy like Lonzo this coming season? What do you expect for him to do, or for what is needed of him? Uh, I expect Showtime, like you know, passing mm -hmm. Rondo, him, LeBron. I mean, they're all uh, they have like great basketball IQ and you know high basketball vision. They they know where everybody everyone is. You know, they're like um, floor generals, all of them. And for him to see all his teammates like last year. LeBron's there. It's going to be much easier for LeBron, Rondo. Um, they'd be able to teach Ball all the stuff that they know like from their experience, right? Mm -hmm. And Josh Hart, you already know he's the MVP of the Summer League. You already know he's going to like play at his fullest. So Kuzma now, um, he just got to keep continuing what he did last year. <laughs> so mm -hmm. that's what I say. I'd like to say I did say last episode or two episodes ago, Lakers are going to beat Houston. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it looks like, I mean, from the first time Houston played, they look like they're not as good as they were mm. last year. So I really, I really bet on those young guns. Like Josh, like Josh Hart in himself, like yeah. you can see how he's fearless compared mm -hmm. to the, the sur surrounding cast of LeBron, like yeah. with Cavs. There was no one that could really step up and really score, but mm -hmm. there's so many weapons on Lakers mm -hmm. that like you just give them the ball and then they can score for yeah, you. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna stick with that. But summer for, league MVP, if you summer, know, yeah, and he Josh deserves Hart, that, yeah. right? They look hungry. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my choice, I feel, I, I want to go with Dennis Smith. I want to say he's gonna do well, um, not just because he's playing with a like a another superstar mm -hmm. and the rookie, but. He surprised me as well. He was very underrated. Like I didn't hear, hear a lot of stories about mm -hmm. him last season, but he was putting up like crazy highlights. He was putting up some crazy numbers too. Mm -hmm. So I really think Dennis Smith, and I'm not going to go with the Lakers because, you know, mm -hmm. I'll, let, I'll let Franz gloat about that. <laughs> but what do you think, Mark? Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to go with a guy that's probably going to have a lost season just because his team's going to be 
probably terrible. Like, I mean, Darren Fox is a nice player. Mm -hmm. uh, as you guys know, I remember he outplayed Lonzo during the uh, the Final Four when he was playing against uh, in against each other. And I think he's going to have a really good number on a bad team. So he probably won't have much recognition. But I think he's improved the shot. Uh, if you watch him, he's improved his playmaking. He's known for, uh, you know, he's, called, he's known to be that scorer, kind of quick, fast, to the basket kind of player. But I think he's improved a lot. He's worked a lot on his game this coming off this off season. So for him, he's gonna have a really good year because the ball is gonna be in his hand. the The franchise basically has moved to him. Nobody else is is going to be there as the guy, the focal point. But the thing is, like they're a terrible team. Sacramento is just <laughs> awful. So it, he's gonna have a good season, but no one's probably gonna notice much of his game. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a difficult one because. Yeah. You, you kind of do want to be the best player and you want to be appreciated for your efforts, but if it's at the bad team and you're losing, then it's like... <laughs> it, it, that's it, yeah, he's going to be in the same plot as Cousins. Like when he was in Sacramento all his um, first seven years, he literally played, he put up monster numbers when he was in Sacramento and nobody thought he was that good of a player. And now that, you know, he moved to New Orleans and now he's in the Warriors. Everybody like, oh, no, he's freaking out. Like... You guys never noticed, appreciated Cousins when he was in, in Sacramento was putting up monster numbers. Now that he went to the Warriors, you guys like, oh, he's like all this and all that. He's this good. He's overpowered. Like, he's just like not fair. Yeah. But that, I think he's going to have that kind of season. Yeah, Darren Fox, mm -hmm. right? Let's, let's take one more year back. Let's look at the rookies at this, this mm -hmm. coming season. I want to know what, your, like, what rookies are you looking at? Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of names mm -hmm. this year as well. Um, what's his name again from Dallas? Oh, Luka Doncic, Doncic. Doncic. Yeah. yeah, I mean he's he's polished. I mean he's the Euroleague MVP at such a young age, and uh, also uh, who who else am I looking at? Uh, I wasn't really impressed with. Um, uh, I I really don't know the the players yeah. for for this year. Um, the guy from uh, Phoenix, yeah, DeAndre, yeah, yeah DeAndre, DeAndre yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, but uh, he's putting up like nice numbers. He's averaging averaging like a double double. Like that's yeah. pretty impressive. I yeah. thought he was gonna be a bust. But then he's getting like uh, 20 points, 12 rebounds a game. Like, wow, that's this pretty awesome. Like, it's the first game. Class, yeah. Yeah, the first game. Like, wow. Um, he actually, you know, played pretty good. Um, it's early to tell at this point, but there's yeah. a lot of, you know, I mean, there's a couple more rookies that are playing today. But from the looks of it, I mean, a lot of them are nice. You know, Dontish played well. It was a good game last night. Mm -hmm. I mean, even from uh, Shy from uh, Clippers, he was... He was pretty good. Like I mean, yeah. like there's yeah, a lot of them that's gonna contribute right away, and it's good to see that it's a very deep uh, class, rookie class, and there's a lot. But I mean, Aiden is nice. He's polished. He can finish in the left. Like I was watching the game yesterday, and I was like, wow, this guy can play. Looks yeah. pretty good. And I forgot to mention, even the second year player, sophomore player, OG is actually coming in. Oh yeah, yeah. So like I mean, OG has a lot to, to probably show mm -hmm. up this coming season as well. So <laughs> if you guys want to pick OG, yeah, go ahead. Like because he's gonna be good. <laughs>